Kendall, are you there? Hi, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Wonderful. Welcome to everybody from Denver, Colorado. Awesome. So as you can see here, we have this virtual space. There is a virtual patient and a virtual nurse in the room. And we can see we have Kendall here. Kendall, go ahead and wave so we know which one you are. And then we have Wade as well. Give us a wave, Wade. Awesome. So we can see that they are in the same physical space, but they're also sharing the same virtual space. And so we have a patient here. We have our handoff nurse here. And we're going to get a brief report from this nurse. Hi, are you ready for handoff? Yeah, we're ready. This is Charlotte, a 30-year-old female. Delivery was augmented with oxytocin. She received no epidural. Delivery was complete after two hours of pushing. She's one hour post-normal spontaneous delivery of a healthy male. Only complication was retained placenta, which required manual extraction. Her current vitals are BP 96 over 50, heart rate 112, O2 sat 97%, respirations 20, temperature 98.9. She's had three pads saturated in one hour and is complaining of continued vaginal bleeding. Do you have any further questions for me? No, thank you so much for the comprehensive report. We'll go ahead and start taking care of her right away. Okay. Hi, Ms. Jackson, how are you? My name is Kendall. I'm going to be your nurse today and I have... Hi, Ms. Jackson. I'm Wade. I'm also your nurse today. How are you doing? Um, do you mind real quick if I go ahead and just check your name and date of birth for me? My name is Charlotte Jackson. My birthday is December 31st. Thank, Thank you so much, Ms. Jackson, for confirming that for me. Congratulations on your new baby. How did delivery go for you? I just had a baby. There were some problems with my placenta and they had to pull it out afterwards. They said I'm fine now, but I don't feel fine. Something doesn't feel right. I feel weak and dizzy, and I'm bleeding a lot. I am so sorry to hear that. If you don't mind, Wade and I are gonna go wash our hands and get ready, and we'd love to come in and you know take a listen to you and take a look and do an assessment. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay. Wait, would you mind grabbing me some gloves as well? Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Miss Jackson, I'm going to go ahead and just remove your blanket real quickly and Wade's going to go ahead and get some of your vital signs quickly so that way we can see what's going on. Okay. Is it normal to be bleeding so much? Of course, I can imagine that this is scary, Miss Jackson, but we're going to go ahead and take a listen to you and see what's going on. Okay, Miss Jackson. Well, it looks like your oxygen saturation is good. Let's take a look at the monitor here. I'm gonna mute that for a second. Oh, Miss Jackson, it does look like your blood pressure is a little low. It also looks like your heart rate is a little high. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a listen to your heart and lungs quick to see how you sound. Am I going that to pass out? Good. Oh no. Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm going to take a look and see how your pad looks to see if there's any bleeding. Do you mind going ahead and lifting up your gown for me quickly? I'm all. Okay. Oh, and it does look like we have some bleeding there. 
I'm going to go ahead and feel on top of your uterus to see if it's contracting. The uterus seems boggy and hard to find. You're right. Miss Jackson, I'm having a little trouble trying to feel for your uterus right now. I think your bladder might be a little full. I'm going to go ahead and Now, Ms. Jackson, I'm gonna go ahead and open up our Foley kit. I'm first gonna go ahead and place some sterile gloves on. And I am gonna go ahead and clean quickly. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab our catheter, Ms. Jackson, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of lidocaine jelly so this should help make it a little more comfortable when I insert the catheter, okay? Okay. okay. Thanks. Perfect. So that catheter is in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna Kendall, we may have lost your audio. Kendall, I think we lost your audio. Oh, now you're back. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, we've got you. And I see that Foley bag below your bed. You can go ahead and lower your gown down for us. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna wash my hands after taking off those gloves. And I'm gonna lower the bed. Miss Jackson. We are gonna go ahead and call the doctor quickly. We just wanna see if there's some other interventions we should do. Okay. Hello, this is the hospital operator. How can I help you? Hi, can you please connect me to the doctor for Charlotte Jackson? Okay, I'll connect you. Hello, this is Dr. Frank. Hi, Dr. Frank, this is Kendall. I'm currently taking care of Miss Jackson. She's saturated three pads within the last hour and her uterus is boggy. I did insert a Foley catheter to help the bladder distension, but she is still ble bleeding and her blood pressure is a little bit lower and her heart rate's high. Is there anything else you'd like us to take care of for her? Administer 250 micrograms carboprost IM now. Administer 1000 milliliters normal saline IV bolus now, and then continue at 150 milliliters per hour. Arrange for a CBC and type and cross for two units stat. Prepare the patient for possible surgery. I'll enter these orders in the EHR. Thank you. I think those are some great orders. I would also recommend that you come by and see the patient. I think that would help her too if you came and assessed her as well. Okay. Thank you. I'm on my way. Wonderful. We'll see you soon. Wade, will you go ahead and check those orders? Because I want to make sure the doctor put those in for us. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, great. Yep. So there we have our IM injection, normal saline, CBC type and cross. I'm going to go ahead and call laboratory right now to see if they can come up and draw that blood. Hello, this is the hospital operator. How can I help you? Hi, can you please connect me to... This is the laboratory. Okay, we'll send a lab tech to the patient's room.
I'm right here. Okay, thank you so much for inserting that IV. And let's get that those IV fluids. Do you mind programming it at 150 mLs per hour? Just one second. Yeah. Great job. High five. Okay. I am going to go ahead. Will you pull up that tablet again so we can check this medication? I just want to make sure it's the right dose. Okay. So it looks like carboprost. Carboprost I am. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, Ms. Jackson, I'm going to go ahead and give you this I am in. Okay. okay. All right. So I think we have done all of the interventions that we're going to need for this case. So we'll go ahead and have Kendall and Wade take off their headsets. And then I'll show you guys what our moderator screen looks like while they're in this simulation. So while they were running this simulation, this is what the moderator sees during that process. I can see the patient's vitals at all times, even if the student hasn't put the patient on monitoring equipment yet. Um, I can see all of the things that I can make the patient do. Um, I can have the patient lift the gown, and that's in response to the students requesting it. I can have her lower the gown, assume, assume the obstetrics pose, lower her legs, so forth. Um, and I can also, see these gold starred actions, which are critical actions, or things that they need to do in this simulation. Some of these, um, the system automatically picks up and others that I check off for them. I can also control the dialogue from this panel. So I can control the, the dialogue for our patient, Charlotte, and I can control the dialogue for our nurse in the scenario, as well as the dialogue for the telephone operator, the doctor and the lab tech. So we, in this simulation, we were able to see two nurses participate in the simulation, interact with another nurse, interact with each other, interact with the patient, interact with a doctor, um, an operator, as well as lab tech. And all of that was done in Kendall's living room with a headset and a computer. And we did that with 500 miles between us.